Wasn't there a video on this channel last week that you can't find anymore? We have an update about Ace Universe in today's video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell, we're on location today. I thought it might be fun to come to you from the banks of the Mississippi River and give you an update on a video that I had posted last Tuesday, June 1st here on my channel, my dealings with Ace Universe. That's what we're gonna discuss in today's video. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please take this opportunity to do so. I'm closing in on 500 subscribers, which is awesome, and I couldn't do this without you, and as I always say, nor would I want to. So please click that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Also, you can share this video and my channel, that's appreciated. Give this video a thumbs up and your comments below are always appreciated, encouraged, and welcomed. So maybe you saw my video that I posted last Tuesday, June 1st on my YouTube channel. It was about my dealings with Ace Universe. Essentially what happened was, I had ordered some books from them. They arrived damaged. They said they're gonna replace them for me. They didn't. I had to file a claim with PayPal. They never even replied to PayPal when they went to investigate and I got my money back through PayPal. So then I made a video essentially uh, detailing my experience, what happened, what went through these steps. To me, the situation was resolved and I had moved on. Uh, I did, however, hear from Ace Universe uh, just a few short hours after posting my video, and that's what I want to talk about in today's video. So a little bit of an update for you. Uh, I posted the video, uh, I think 7 a.m. Central, uh, by just before 1.30. Uh, Ace had already made an effort to contact me. My video was only at 40-some views, which, you know, let's face it, that isn't a whole lot. You know, my channel isn't even at 500 subscribers yet, although I have, you know, 480 some of the best subscribers in the world. But, you know, that's not what it's considered a huge YouTube channel either. You know, we're, we're growing, we're working our way there. But Ace did reach out to me and they wanted to talk to me on the phone and they made several attempts in several different forums to reach out to me. And uh, later that evening, I did get a chance to talk to my contact at Ace Universe. And I know exactly what you're thinking because I think it's the exact same thing that I was thinking too. Oh sure, now they want to talk to me. Now that there's a video posted, now they want to have a discussion with me. That's exactly what I thought. But I have to tell you that in speaking with them, they were very sincere. They took responsibility immediately, you know, saying that, this should have been, this problem should have been fixed. It, it, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. They should have took, taken care of it. And they didn't. And they wanted to apologize to me. And even though I had already gotten a refund from PayPal, they still wanted to make sure that I got what I ordered because that was the right thing to do. Now I had to stop for a minute and think. My number one concern was, I don't want them thinking that I'm trying to get something out of them for nothing because that was not my, that was never my intention nor is my intention when I'm dealing with somebody. And I expressed that to them and they said they know, they believe me, they said if they thought I was trying to get something from them, they wouldn't make the offer to make this right. So I was really thankful for this phone call for many reasons. Number one, it helped restore some faith in humanity. I really felt better after talking with them. And they made, a, they made actually an effort to get to know me as a collector as opposed to me just as a problem that they need to deal with. I'm really appreciative of that phone call. Another thing that was huge to me, they did not ask me to take down my video that I had posted. I think that that's huge. Had they asked me to do that, I don't think I would have taken it down. They didn't ask me, so what I did was change the privacy settings. So it's still there, but it's not searchable. I can find it, but pretty much that's it. You know, as I said, I'm not the biggest channel in the world. This video was only at 40 some views, and that's not a lot of views when they first reached out to me. 
you know, it had since doubled in size before I had changed the privacy settings. But the fact that I'm not a big channel yet, the fact that the video didn't need to have a lot of views before they wanted to take action and make it right, that spoke to me. That meant something to me. They weren't just trying to make it right because I was a big channel or thought I was some type of an influencer, which I don't. They wanted to make it right because that was the right thing to do. My contact at Ace was kind and professional, and as I said, made an effort to get to know me. You know, we discussed shipping too in general, and I mean, is it going to change the way that they ship books? I don't know that for, for a fact, and quite honestly, I mean, the way they ship books, that's their business. Do I think that they're definitely going to take another look at the way that they ship things or possibly ship them better in the future to other customers? Yeah, I think if that conversation hasn't taken place at Ace already, that it certainly will. You know, uh, one person, Jeff Schultz, as a matter of fact, left a comment below uh, the original video and he said, you know, all of this could have been avoided by using a 50 cent Gemini mailer, which I couldn't agree more. I'm going to give Ace the benefit of the doubt that, you know, not only when I order from them in the future, but when someone else orders from them in the future, that they're going to make sure that, that the books are as protected as they can be. Because after all, once we place that order, those are our books that they're dealing with. Um, ultimately though, as I said, it's their decision as to how they're going to run their company. But I really have faith that they're, if they haven't, they're taking another look at the shipping, the way that they ship right now and protecting the books. They have some great books. So, and speaking of, um, I now have mint copies of this beautiful Wonder Woman Volume 2, issue number seven, uh, the fluorescent Jenny Frizen cover, which is exclusive to Ace. I now have completely mint copies, which is what I wanted the entire time. Uh, being such a huge uh, comic book and Wonder Woman fan like I am, and a Jenny Frizen fan too. I mean, this check marks so many boxes for me it, of what I wanted for my collection, and I didn't want damaged ones. Uh, I even said that initially when I contacted them. I said, I would prefer a replacement as opposed to getting my money back. They took care of me. They didn't have to. You know, they easily could have said, um, you got your money back, you're taken care of, this is all over with. But my order's not the biggest order, you know, that Ace Universe deals with. It's, it's really a small order when you stop and think about it. But th that didn't matter to them. It mattered to them that it was a customer that, and I'm going to say it, I, I, I feel it's a one-off. It's a one-off that something went wrong and they wanted to make it right. In this world, we need a lot more forgiveness. And to me, forgiveness also involves forgive, forget, and move on. Would I order from Ace Universe again? I would. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm already eyeing some things on their website. Yeah, I would give them another shot for sure. Now, if I got damaged products again, I probably wouldn't be as patient as I was this first time around. But I definitely feel that, that they deserve the benefit of the doubt. I appreciate them for reaching out. As, you know, I truly believe that once they saw this video and realized what happened, they're like, yes. We need to fix this, we need to take care of this. It got taken care of, my point was made. I'm very happy. Um, they did not ask me to take the video down. They did not ask me to make a new video correcting or updating or, or anything. I'm doing this of my own free choosing and my own free will, which is another reason why I changed the settings on the original video because I just thought they're reaching out and they're making an effort to make this better and they don't have to at this point but they are and it's not because I have a huge subscriber count a huge video count they just did it because it's the right thing to do so in my mind that evening I changed the settings to the original video because I thought that was the right thing to do if you're making an effort I'm gonna meet you and make an effort back need more forgiveness in this world so um, I have accepted their apology I am loving my new mint copies of my books that I have um, I'm beyond happy with this, and uh, it hasn't. And and I think that what's even more awesome is it hasn't soured me on my experience with dealing with Ace in the future. So, 
that's where we stand with that situation. And I wanted to make sure that you had an update direct from me so you knew exactly what was going on. So while I've got you here, I want to update you a little bit on what's coming up with my channel. So I know that I had mentioned in that video originally that I've got um, some comic book editions to show you, which I do. I've got quite a few, as a matter of fact, uh, including one that has a Mexican Wonder Woman variant that maybe you've never seen before. So that video, I was planning that to be my next video. I'm not sure if that's going to be right now, but it is coming in the very near future for sure. I have a video of um, a haul from Half Price Books. I have another video showing some pickups that I made that include three from my top 12 goal list for 2021. So I made some purchases there that I'm excited to show you. I bought a Supergirl mystery box from Torpedo Comics. Now my good friend Flashpoint Comics, he bought some boxes as well and I think that we're going to go live hopefully later this week. I'm waiting to find out when his box has arrived because my box has arrived already. I think we're going to go live later this week and open them up. If that's the case, I think we, between the two of us, we have eight boxes to open and they only made 30 boxes. So that's a pretty good, sh it's, it's almost a one in three shot that the GP will get revealed. Uh, when we do that, but I'm really looking forward to that. I think that will be a bunch of fun. Speaking of Flashpoint Comics, uh, on his channel, this upcoming Sunday, we'll be hosting Fanboys Live in the Retro Review. It's just going to be me and Flashpoint, and we've got a really good um, Flash Wonder Woman crossover story that we're going to feature for you that I'm excited about. So that will be at 8.15 Eastern this Sunday, 7.15 Central, on Flashpoint Comics' YouTube channel which I put a link to that channel in the description for this video. So that kind of brings us to an end of this comic book editions video. Thank you for letting me share this update with you. Hopefully the surrounding noise from the boats and the cars, luckily we didn't have any trains during filming time, but hopefully uh, that wasn't too disturbing for you. And I once again want you to know how much I appreciate you. Ace Universe, thank you for what you did for me and actually helping restore my faith in people uh, a little bit too. That you certainly did something to, to make that happen too. Uh, I appreciate Ace Universe, I appreciate my contact at Ace, I appreciate you, and I look forward to visiting with you for more comic book edition videos and the unboxings and Fanboys Live and the Retro Review all coming up in the near future. Have a great rest of your day. There goes the train.